Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to make another video. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and as well like the video. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving, had a blast with your family and friends, and had enough turkey to eat. So today's video is going to be some thoughts that have been going through my mind recently. And one of the first thoughts that I want to talk about and share with you guys is Christmas. Um, I get a lot of people ask me, well, isn't Christmas a pagan holiday? And um, why would you celebrate it? What's there to celebrate, celebrate Christmas? And you should make a whole video about it. Well, the thing is, when people ask me, like, why do I celebrate? And even when they ask me, well, what holidays can you celebrate? The thing is, I like to answer them with this personal opinion. If you find no light in the holiday, then what for to celebrate? If you can't glorify God in that holiday, then what for to celebrate? You know, so that's my personal opinion on that. Um, and in Christmas, I find so much light. It's just amazing. And why do I find light? Because it's Jesus that I find light. And for me, I have the understanding that God gave his only son to come to this earth and be born as an infant and be born from a human being, okay? Like, that is just the most humblest thing I've ever heard, by the way. But besides that, like, he's just truly amazing, you know? And doing that for us and living as a human being and being becoming a man and healing and loving and rebuking he's just truly amazing jesus himself and when he died for our sins like that's just the most powerful uh day and statement that he did for us for our sins for our mistakes so um as a christian we should be celebrating his birth every day I mean, he's the reason why we're still living. He's the reason why we still we still have this relationship with God and we're forgiven because we get to repent and live for him. Like he's just he there's so many reasons why he did that for sure is because he loves us. But I I mean, I find that there's so many reasons to love him and adore him and be grateful of his birth, of his upcoming to this earth. You know, so I wanted to share that with you guys and um to get more information and more of his history of Jesus, uh, our pastor just highly recommended for us to do because it is important and as Christians we should really know. I've known uh, Jesus' birth as like the children version, but I haven't really got the biblical. And like I said, I'm still learning guys, so bear with me. But um, my pastor did highly suggest for us to start reading from Matthew and, and as well the beginning of Luke. So you'll get more of like the understanding of Jesus when he was born and um, as, a, as a kid and then as adult you know so it's just truly amazing so that's what I find Christmas is to celebrate the light which is Jesus he's just amazing um, one last thing that I want to add is that yeah we don't have a date I know a lot of people are like well where do you find the date well, based off like the scholars, I've heard like, uh, like I guess videos, reviews and stuff and talks. Um, they, they're talking about how they dissected the whole history of Jesus. And they're determined that, determined that from the Passover, like eight months later, that's when he was like born. So, I mean, I know there's a lot of history. I, I don't really know, but I know that for sure it makes so much sense. And we definitely have to have a... A day to really celebrating all wholeheartedly as a family as just united you know but we definitely should be celebrating him every day because because of him you and I are still alive alrighty guys so my second thought would be um, well not more of a thought it's actually more uh, a better understanding of what my YouTube channel is about um, what my intentions and what my behind of what my heart has for this YouTube channel is to share the love of Jesus, to share um, testimonies, experience, um, break down the Bible, if if possible. Like I said, I'm just a beginner, and give biblical advice. So that's what my whole YouTube channel is about. As you see, I have different 
um, trials that we go through, the day-to-day -day basis, and what we can do to overcome them, and what does scripture say about those certain situations. Um, why I'm bringing this up, because I've had people like basically say certain things about, well, it seems like you're very hateful, it seems like you're judging people according to what they do, you know, where does it, the Bible say that God is against homosexuality? And um, I mean, it's in scripture, guys. And I know that there's a lot of things that I know, actually, let me, let me rephrase it. I know there's a lot of people that would love for me to just share just the love and peace of God. And that is beautiful. And that is definitely true. There's a lot of love and peace of him. But people need to understand that this scripture carries justice and carries it being fair and carries good and carries warnings. It carries so many things other than love and peace. And people don't understand that. And honestly, I, I didn't get to understand it until I started reading it. Um, but a lot of people like to neglect the things that just don't sound right to them. Like for, for instance, you have the book of Revelation. A lot of that speaks about, you know, Satan. A lot of that stuff sp speaks about um, what God thinks about these seven churches that were going through bad times and they were not in, um, they weren't right in God's eyes. Okay, I'll just narrow it down like that. But a lot of people like to avoid that book. You know, because a lot of it is, it's, it's fire. Like God is speaking with fire and he's speaking with truth and he's speaking with giving us a warning, you know? So a lot of, a lot of people like to avoid that. I like to see that people are like the way I am with my math, my math test or my math exam. Um, my friend and I were studying our, um, our math. Uh, we're having this, our finals this week. And uh, we were going through all these sections and studying them. And the final section is like so hard. And I was just like, dude, I don't get it. Like, I don't know, like, do you get it? Like, can, is there any way that you can explain to me? And she was like in the same boat with me. She was just like, dude, I don't even get it either. And I'm like, what are we gonna do? So we just came to the point that, you know what? Whatever, let's just study the ones that we really know and forget that one. I honestly feel like a lot of people are like that. A lot of people like to just pick and choose and ignore what's hard to understand. And since they, since they don't, since therefore they don't understand it, they avoid it and they never get it. And I feel like that's how scripture is. That's what the Bible is to a lot of people. So that's when you speak, you speak the truth. And even though the truth sometimes hurts and it, you can find conviction in you, like, People don't like to hear it. People want to hear, well, lo God loves you. God loves you. He loves you, but he wants change. He wants repentance. He did not just die for us just for us to get a free card and live whatever, however we like. That's not the purpose of why Jesus died for us. Jesus died for us for us to have a second chance. Because he's coming soon. So that is my thoughts my second thought that I want to share with you guys because I feel like we really neglected and it's not easy I'll share with you with you guys that that it is not easy at all but we have to strive and push ourselves um, and have full understanding of this book before we start speaking once you get understanding then that's when you can be like okay I'd rather be with God and live for him or just walk away from him Hey guys, so I hope you guys understood what I was trying to address with the whole Christmas topic and as well with this YouTube channel. I love you guys very much. Have a very blessed day and a blessed week. Goodbye.